Now, one of Mississippi's first black state troopers has been laid to rest. And 12 News Deidre Briscoe attended the service in Hattiesburg and has more on how Walter Crosby is being remembered. Walter Crosby was one of three African American men to break racial barriers and be commissioned to the Mississippi Highway Safety Patrol in 1972. The 71 year old was on his third battle with cancer before passing away. He was born in Hattiesburg and was the oldest of six. As a father of six himself, he even married the first black chancellor clerk of Holmes County. At the age of 22, he opened doors for himself and so many others by becoming a state trooper. But he didn't do it alone. Those who helped him say it took a lot of bravery. I always thank me, and I always thank them. I, I, I filed the lawsuit, but I didn't have to go through that door and survive with men that I did not personally feel comfortable with. But they did. Uh, they did what they had to do, and they they survived. So each time I see a highway patrolman, a young African American highway patrolman, I say, you know, praise God for those three men. Walter Crosby, Lewis Younger, and R.O. Williams would all be commissioned into the Mississippi Highway Patrol after the lawsuit. Some say Crosby was determined. He did. He would visit um, black and white churches. He made friends because he built relationships. Mm -hmm. He built relationships when he was up there. And black people, white people, everyone knew him. And, um, you know, there was, a, there was a transition to embrace him and into the community and it just happened because you know they're not used to right. black children right. right so there was some there was some time to um with the transition but he was able to you know win over a lot of people he was known by many as the midnight cowboy crosby made lifelong friendships with the other two african-american men who joined the mississippi highway patrol with him williams says it's going to be different without his best friend it's going to be different. 49 years. You just can't turn it on and off like a switch. Uh, we, were, we were friends 49 years. This will be the first time in Hattiesburg that I won't get a chance to talk to him or to see him and shake hands and, you know, exchange pleasantries per se. Uh, but he knew that I loved him and, and, and he loved me. Those who attended Crosby's funeral on Saturday say when they hear a patrol siren, they will think of him. The fallen hero passed just a few months shy of the 50th anniversary of the first African-American troopers. But the family says that the strength of Walter Crosby will live on. Reporting in Hattiesburg, Deidre Briscoe, 12 News.